October 31st, 2013, a 15-year-old boy named Cole Furston loved playing Minecraft with his similarly aged school friend John. Together, they built many structures and lived happily until something horrible happened on November 1st. That day, the sun was shining like a burning torch. Cole was playing Minecraft as usual with John. They were building a giant golem until they both were attacked by an army of spiders. John died and Cole had to kill all the spiders. John suddenly crashed and his computer shut down. As Cole connected to Discord with John, they both had a chat about why John's computer crashed. He said that his computer couldn't handle the high amount of spiders lagging his game and thus crashing. As Cole talked about building a snow golem, John disconnected. Cole tried calling him but no answer. He just looked back at Minecraft and waited for John to come back. He didn't. Cole, bored and tired, got ready for bed and slept but something or someone was standing in front of the window with his jaws open. The next morning, Cole woke up with a loud ringing sound from his phone. He picked up and asked, hello? The only response was a voice that said, I will rise and the phone call ended. Cole was shocked a little and stood there frozen. He was thinking about John. Cole snapped out of his daze and he went downstairs for breakfast. His parents had a worried expression on their faces. Cole asked, what's wrong? And his father gave him the newspaper he was reading. As Cole rummaged through the papers, he found a page that was shocking. A tear went down his cheek. The title was, Local Boy John Murdered on Meme Street. Cole gave back the newspaper and sat in the table with his family, quietly chewing his cereal. He went back to his room and opened up Minecraft to forget all about this. Nothing unusual happened. He just built a random structure. After about 12 minutes, he closed his computer and just sat there, dazed. Suddenly, something white passed by him. Cole stood up and turned around quickly, but he found nothing. He knew something had passed by him. Cole was scared out of his mind. He was beginning to wonder if this was an act of a ghost. Cole ran out of his room, slammed the door, and ran downstairs. His mom came to him and asked what was such a hurry. Cole just said, nothing and took a cup of water that was beside the counter. He drank it down, which calmed him down. He even had to admit he felt much better. At 6 p.m., the horizon was gloomy. It was dark and frightening. Cole turned on his computer once again, turned on Minecraft, and created a new world in survival mode. He saw his first tree and chopped it down, then another. After he had 180 wood planks in total, he decided to build his house. Since he was great at building, he built a nice house with a stunning roof. He smiled at his work and went inside to sleep. Cole woke up early in his house in Minecraft when it was still dark. Even though the game was programmed to wake up at morning. Cole, confused, looked around. He saw nothing, so he just clicked the bed again. But the message would just appear. You can't sleep for now because, with a garbled reason, Cole began to worry. He knew something must have woken him. He walked out of his house, and the time turned into day. What the heck? Cole thought as he looked around. Suddenly, an unpleasant surprise appeared. A zombie model with a scary texture was behind him. Its head was tilted right. The figure made some growling noises and hit Cole. Cole screamed and ran. With the figure in hot pursuit, Cole rushed away blindly from the creature and fell in a nearby lake. As Cole attempted to cross water, the figure said in a spooky, familiar voice, I am hungry, old friend. Cole yelped and leapt out of the water. He ran and ran until he reached the jungle temple. He looked back and saw that the figure had disappeared. As he slowly entered the temple, he saw the figure waiting. Cole wanted to scream, but he was paralyzed with fear. The figure approached Cole and whispered, I am still here, hungry for flesh, old friend. Cole couldn't believe his eyes. Then, the figure disappeared. Cole was still paralyzed. He couldn't believe what he'd just seen. His eyes were wide open. He couldn't talk, Cole realized that it was his friend, John. To this day, John hasn't been seen or heard from since that day.